So this has been one week with the railboard. Um, I, I wrote a little tune that um, basically contains everything that I wanted to work on um, instead of just doing uh, finger exercises uh, across the fingerboard. Um, I wrote a little tune that has uh, various different aspects of uh, um, practicing the railboard incorporated into it. So um, first of all, it's got uh, finger independence exercises in that I play and I'm together with uh, both hands here. Then I play only with my left hand. Um, I do this twice and then I've got this little line here. alternate uh, the different intentions then it completely shifts register uh, to uh, play chords static chords in my left hand and then arpeggiating over it so arpeggiate over the three notes or just do the bass one twice. Um, a nice aspect of those two different chord shapes is that the arpeggio of the first one, uh, which is a regular minor chord, is uh, index middle ring finger and the other one is index ring middle. So it, it shifts those around which um, you know is a little bit tricky in the beginning. Um, and then it's got this little uh, uh, faster line here with a jump um, that trains uh, the movement of your hand uh, without keeping it static. And then in the end there is, um, it moves the left and the right hand together. So that took me a while to be able to play it, more or less, um, but I, I think it's pretty encouraging to be, you know, to be able to do this after one week. So um, a few people have asked me about this. I think the, the stick, uh, so the railboard, translates pretty well coming from uh, other alternative or traditional instrument. So I, I do find quite a few uh, guitar techniques in here. So slide vibrato. Slide here. And then uh, to me it's quite natural to just hold the chord position with my left hand because I usually play finger picking guitar. Um, the arpeggiation over it is a little bit different but that, you know, it's compensated by what I already did on the instrument in Eichenharp. Um, and the, the physical form factor is obviously quite similar to, you know, to the Eigenharp. Um, I really like this, this way of playing, standing up and having the instrument that you can embrace, basically. Um, now, um, during this first week, I did have um, a bad experience in that I started to use the active pickups of the railboard and that is done by using the cable uh, with phantom powered uh, microphone channels and it sends phantom power over two channels that are then uh, you know, combined together and sent over uh, a stereo jack to a TRS jack to the, to the railboard. And what happened is that I blew a couple of my preamps. Um, so that's going to be an expensive thing. I'll, I'll have to replace these. Um, so my metric halo devices, they seem to handle phantom power quite well on one channel. But uh, when using multiple channels like this, um, it turns out that when you insert this TRS, TRS jack, uh, there are several locations where it bridges the connections and uh, so it combines those two voltages together um, which can cause your preamp to blow or op amp or uh, capacitor whatever is in, in the circuit in the circuitry there um, 
Stick Enterprise has never heard of this. They they say they, you know, they don't have anyone that had complained about it. Um, Metric Halo, Halo confirmed that to me that you know this could definitely create problems. Um, so that's that. I think it's important that people are aware of it. Um, no one is listing this on Stick Enterprise's website. Um, that's the way it is. So I'm I'm not going to be using the active pickups at you know for any foreseeable time. Um, I'm even worried about using them on stage since even though I can be careful about turning off my interfaces, plugging in the jack and only turning it on afterwards or only turning on phantom power afterwards, there is always this risk when performing live that the jack would, you know, uh, be disconnected by stepping on the cable and that now has an additional risk of blowing the preamps of your input channels, uh, which I don't think is something that I ever would want to deal with in a live situation. So that's that. Well, this has been my little check-in with the stick after one week of uh, playing it. I, I really love it as an instrument. I, I can't stop thinking about it and try to play as much as possible. And who knows where, um, where I'll end up next week or maybe sometime in between. I'll check in again. Thanks for watching. Bye.